alrighty y'all welcome back um today i'm gonna be talking about some perfumes that are my go-to long lasting i don't want to retouch throughout the day i'm not gonna have access to retouch throughout the day that's something that's going to make an impact when i enter a room or leave a room i want to leave a trail this is that type of perfume um that i believe is completely worth your money that if you're looking for something like that that just doesn't last long in your skin, hopefully this will. I'm extremely oily. Um, I feel like a lot of things don't last on me because I'm so oily. So um, I'm going to be kind of be looking down. I didn't really clarify that in my last video that I have all these notes and stuff on here for you guys. Um, just because I feel like sometimes it's a little hard to explain perfume. So um, not to make this intro so long, um, the first one that I'm going to go over is going to be my Terry Muggler Angel Perfume. Okay, so my Terry Muggler Angel Perfume, I actually bought a stand for. Don't know if you could quite see that very well, but I didn't like the fact that I could not display this perfume. And it really annoyed me, and I didn't understand why there was no stand for it. Well, lo and behold, there is, and it's on terrymuggler.com actually and it was $25 so if you're ever looking for a stand if you have this perfume girl go get you a stand because you don't know what you're missing out on it is fantastic it just sits right flat on there hopefully I'll enter a better picture for you guys because I don't think this is going to focus um so the notes I'm going to be reading are from like different websites that sites that I could find the perfume on because as you know Sephora and Ulta don't always carry everything um but this one is from Sephora so this one is the refillable 1.7 fluid ounce bottle um and it's $120 I usually I usually always get the big I always get the big bottles just because I feel like it's just more worth your money. I feel like I'm getting more bang for my buck. That's just what it is. Um, but because this is refillable, I was I decided to go for the 1.7 fluid ounces because I figured, you know what? If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it all the way. And at least this way, one, it doesn't take up too much space as well, but it's refillable. So I can just go to Ulta or um, Sephora because it will never, it's not limited edition. This is like one of their best sellers. So Angel, Terry Muggler, is um so the notes on this just in case that's something that you look for um are you going to be buying this online this is part of the warm and spicy family um the scent type is warm and sweet gourmads i don't i don't know what that means but i, I know it's warm it definitely is warm and it does have a little bit of sweet side but what i'll tell you is that this perfume smells different on everybody i i bought this because my friend kept walking in because her husband bought it for her for like christmas or something and she kept walking in and i'm like why do you smell so freaking delicious man i was like you could just spread her on a cracker but it was amazing right she anyways i went out and bought it because of her and it smells completely different on me than it does her but it still smells amazing to me so i find that everybody who wears this because sometimes people will be wearing it, and i'm like what are you wearing and they'll tell me and i'm like that's that terry muggler I'm telling you terry muggler does that to people so just be aware that it might even though these scent notes in here terry muggler has been notorious for always kind of Their scents always just smell different on it. Muggler perfume, just as we're on the Terry Muggler train, um, is going to be the Terry Muggler Alien. This is like the classic go-to Terry Muggler perfume, I feel like. It's just a classic. Um, this is the $84 one ounce Eau de Parfum uh, refillable bottle. So again, Terry Muggler has a great refillable service. So these are like my smallest perfumes I own, but that's just because they're refillable. Um, and I can go in the store at any time, Macy's um, as well, and refill these bottles for cheaper than what I bought. So $84, Oude Parfum, one point, oh, sorry, just one ounce refillable perfume bottle. Okay, $84. Um, the notes in here, is a, it says fragrance, is, fragrance family is floral. <sighs> but yeah, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't get all that floral notes just because I feel like it's so it's so unique that you cannot tell me ah, it's just floral like it that's all it says on here is fragrance family is floral there is no other words on there it just says floral which is ridiculous the other stuff in here the key notes is jasmine sumbuck cash cashmerian wood amber grease 
I do not, or grease, I, I don't know why I said grease, I'm sorry. It does not smell like grease. It's G-R-I-S. I will definitely try again to put all the notes and pictures in here for you guys. Um, again, I'm still trying to learn how to edit, so bear with me. Um, and I'm sorry I keep looking this way, but that's where my viewfinder is, and I feel like i got to keep making sure I'm in focus. Um, I'll get over it eventually. But um, just so that way you're aware... Um, it's very strong, y'all. Again, just like the angel, you do not need a lot of this stuff. I'm talking about maybe one, two sprays if you're feeling yourself. Try to, if you get it on your skin, it's there. If you get it on your clothes, it is there until you wash your clothes. So don't be spraying it on like a work jacket that you wear every single day because you're going to have to wash it to get that smell out because it stays. It is strong and it stays. All right, so moving on. Once again, just so that way we're all on the same page, one fluid ounce refillable bottle at Sephora for the Uday Parfum is $84 for Cherry Muggler Alien. Um, so you should definitely check those out. And if you are going to purchase it, go to terrymuggler.com. telling you, the samples there, their sample package is amazing. And they always send you coupons too after you order, just in case. So definitely check them out. Um, I am a Terry Muggler fan through and through. Uh, they're a very expensive perfume. As you can tell, one ounce for $84 is ridiculous, but it's Terry Muggler and I'll pay for Terry Muggler all day, just like some people pay for Chanel and Gucci and, you know, other high-end perfumes. I will pay for Terry Muggler if it's an amazing smelling perfume. So, Moving right along, the next perfume I have is going to be a classic, I feel like, and it should be a staple in everybody's, is the Giorgio Amani C. Okay, hopefully I'll try and get a better picture, but it literally just says C, you know, right there. It's about it. Um, it's just a nice classic. I feel just a beautiful modern bottle. Um, it smells... I just smell so amazing like you put this on and you feel sexy you feel confident you feel like I'm ready for date night I'm ready to get feisty talk to me when I'm wearing this perfume and I might I might talk back no I probably won't because I'm a little ah uh, I'm a little awkward when it comes to those type of situations so but still still feel feisty inside I feel feisty I feel just feel very sexy so if you're looking for a perfume, that would be the perfume I would go to. Now, the fragrance notes, whew, one second here, sorry y'all. Uh, the fragrance notes on this um, are Chai Pre, I don't know what that is, Black Currant Nectar, Airy Florals, Musky Blonde Wood. The style is graceful, modern, unconventional. Unconventional, sorry. Um, and I agree with that. It's very modern. It's very graceful, but it's very unconventional in the sense that you smell it and you're just like, this doesn't smell like anything else that I own. This smells like nothing that you will own. It is one of those things that I would definitely splurge on. Um, it's just, it's just so amazing. When I smell this stuff, and this is probably one of my most used perfumes because, you know, when I go out or anything like that, in humidity, sweaty sticky weather you know you need something that's going to stick and that sticks so i highly recommend getting that and if you can get the lotion i would definitely get the kit with it get the lotion put it on you you won't regret that purchase i can guarantee you you won't um i couldn't find this one actually on sephora's website i actually had to go to alta um and alta for um the 3.4 fluid ounce bottle is going to run you 120 dollars. but you know on here it's a five star perfume 213 reviews i don't think 213 people are going to lie about how good smelling a perfume is and you already know 213 people everybody has different fragrances they like but this one is amazing so definitely see Giorgio Romani 120 bucks at for 3.4 fluid ounces that is not a bad deal um check it out okay um so the next one again is one of those perfumes that you you can find at Ulta you can find at um Marshall's TJ Maxx Dillard's um I definitely recommend going to Marshall's or your TJ Maxx and I go there just because I feel like I'm 
I'm going to get the perfume that I want. And people always say, oh, it's so old. You don't know how old it is. But I feel like perfume has to be out on the sun. Just in direct heat for many, many, many months for it to really go bad. I've had some of my perfume for years and it has not turned on me, okay? So for me, as long as you keep it in a cool, dry place, I keep mine all like in a nice shaded area in a shelving unit that's very nicely displayed. A lot of air, a lot of cool, but not no direct sunlight or light hits it at all. Um, putting your perfume in the bathroom is so bad for your perfume. Keep your perfume out of the bathroom. It drives me insane sometimes when I see people and you go into houses and they have beautiful perfume chilling on their bathroom counter by their makeup and I'm like, you're just ruining your perfume, all that money. It's not good, the humidity from the showers, the, the, the light, no, no. Cool, dry area as much as possible. Get it out of your bathroom. For the love of God, get it out of your bathroom. Anyways, sorry for that rant. This is going to be Bright Crystal by Versace. It is a beautiful smelling perfume. It's one of those perfumes that it's just, I feel like it's a classic perfume. It's one of those perfumes you spray on and you're like, what am I wearing? People want to know what you're wearing. People want to come up to you and ask you what you're wearing. You will leave a trail out that door. Uh, when that wind catches it, everybody's going to be like, what the hell is she wearing? You wearing Versace Bright Crystal. Now, they have one. This is a toilet. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you. It does not smell like a toilet. It smells like a perfume. It is strong as hell. Now, the um, they have one that's like a Bright Crystal Absolute, which I believe is the parfum. And it's it, I like it. Um, I've been looking for it at Marshalls and and TJ Maxx just because I feel like if I can find that one, and I found other ones, but I'm trying to wait for the big bottle. Usually around Christmas times when they start getting those gift sets in, girl, and that's when I hit up Marshalls and TJ Maxx if I can, if I can wait. I already know like Terry Muggler and stuff. I'm. It's very rare that you will find that in Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I have found Alien though there, and if I didn't own that one, I would have bought it there. So. Just a heads up, check Marshalls and TJ Maxx before you go into Dillard's, Ulta, Macy's, or Sephora. Um, I love me some Sephora, but sometimes you just be like, all the coupons are excluded, you can't use it, even Ulta. So, go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls, do us all a favor, be a fashionista, nothing wrong with it. Nobody's going to know it's from Marshalls. Sometimes you can get some really nice gift sets there too. Um, so... Again, back to this perfume. Um, the fragrance notes on here are Yusu, Iced Accord, Pomegranate. The heart note is Rose, Peony, Magnolia, Akujo, Lotus Flower. The base notes are going to be Vegetal Amber and Musk. Now, again, I love Amber. Um, I think this is just a really great perfume and I feel like if you want to explore out a little bit, um, it's definitely not the most expensive perfume at 3.4 fluid ounces um, for a toilet. It, our toilet is $95, or I'm sorry, 3.0 3 ounces, not 3.4, 3.0 ounces is $95. So I would just go ahead and check that out um, and see what you like. But So I hope you guys like this video. I do apologize it was a little longer than um, most videos about perfume, but um, these are my go-to perfumes um, when I'm feeling sexy, when I'm feeling like I want people to know where I'm at, where, I, where I've been, that I'm leaving a trail as soon as I walk out that door. I want people to know. Uh, so if you want to be known, I would pick out any four of these perfumes. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with more videos on perfumes. So have a blessed day and thank you again for watching. Alrighty, bye-bye.